hello dear welcome to our channel chemistry doctor are you a researcher okay if you're a researcher then we welcome to our platform today we are going to discuss uh, that how could we how could we find the lambda max by plotting a graph between wavelength and absorbance now first of all we select these two parameters now we select these two parameters and open in a new window and paste these parameters into them at a and b position where a at a position we put wavelength and b is absorbed now we plot a graph by selecting the line and here is a graph between the absorbance and wavelength at x axis uh, we take the absorbance but at and y axis we take uh, the absorbance at y axis we take absorbance while at x axis we take the uh, wavelength no by plotting its a uh, component other component at uh, x axis uh, negative x axis and negative y axis by covering this graph so first of all we will adjust its scale for our graph now uh, we have just adjusted uh, the scale of uh, the graph and now we then moves towards their uh, axis from top and uh, from right side and adjust their thickness about 2 here we take the thickness about 2 and from all the side we change the thickness of the graph uh, about 2 no sim similarly the bottom no right so all these axes were adjusted now at x axis as we have taken at x axis the wavelength lambda and uh, at y axis we have taken the absorbance no we change the name at x x and y axis by selecting them and then uh, converting into uh, here we may also take as a lambda from the symbol here you can see uh, the lambda is given which shows the wavelength so by selecting wavelength at x axis mean wavelength at x axis in bracket we just put the unit of the wavelength uh, no uh, after that we take the lambda it's, it's creating problem for the unit again we go into sample and uh, sample map and close it no we put its unit no we convert the y-axis by taking as absorbance on the y-axis as absorbance has no unit so now we convert absorbance to time new romans similarly wavelength into time new romans and all the quantities present in them are converted into the their 
concern units so by this way we can uh, calculate the lambda max the lambda max is a maximum wavelength where absorbance is maximum so here at about uh, at about 570 nanometer we have got the lambda max mean i want to say that the maximum absorption will take place at 570 nanometer as shown here